Salut mes amis, it's Minui Roo, and in today's video, I'm going to be making another character based on some earrings. Et voila, the earring rack. I've already created characters based on the rubber ducky earrings and the cloud earrings. So today, I think I'm going to make a character based on these lemons. So, to start sketching, first we're just going to make a base. I'm going to try to put down whatever ideas I may have onto the paper as quickly as possible. Because right now is when I have the most creative freedom in my head. I find that if I wait too long before putting an idea down, I'll forget it. And then later on when I'm trying to think of what to make, it's just gone. So when I think of lemons, I think of summer. And with summer, I think of lemonade. So, I'm going to draw a quick little glass of lemonade. Maybe that'll kickstart a bunch of ideas. I want to try to incorporate a lot of this lemon shape into the design. It'll be a lot of curves, a lot of circles. I kind of like the idea of this striped straw too. Maybe we can incorporate some stripes into the design. See if we can have blue. And then the yellow. I'm thinking blue and yellow are going to be our best friends here. The ice cube I just painted yellow. Oops. Because if you have a character with too much of one color, it can get kind of distracting. So the blue might be just what we need to have a nice design. Normally, whenever I work with a color, I try to use that color as opposite on the color wheel. But I don't think purple is going to have a nice effect. So back to our little sketch. I'm just gonna draw some random eyes and see where it takes me. A lot of the times when I draw like this, I have no idea going in, but midway through I get an idea and it just works. I'm not sure what kind of outfit I'll give her just yet. Seeing as I'm thinking of lemonade and summer, I think I'm gonna go with uh, a lighter outfit. So no sweatshirts, nothing crazy. Although right now it's cold. I see that I, uh, I tend to do that. Whenever it's cold outside, I draw characters that are in warmer climates. But whenever it's warm outside, I draw colder characters. What's your favorite season? I, I like fall. Fall and spring. I feel like it's pretty bearable to go outside, especially where I live. It's not super cold, not super hot, and it's just really nice. So now we got to think of a hairstyle. So I'm trying to think of a hairstyle that has a lot of these uh, curves and, you know, circle, circular shapes. Maybe we'll give her a... Uh, a lemon wedge pin too, that might be cute. So hairstyles with lots of curves. Well, we can go with a bob. So just bangs. This kind of circular shape which is all fine and well but I don't think we're going to be able to see the earrings that much and that's the main draw of this series right 
Well, in the summertime, lots of ponytails, right? Not a lot of people have their hair down because it gets hot. So let's try making someone with maybe their hair up. So if I try to draw someone with a ponytail, let's give them some bangs. I can still give curves, but I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going for. Part of me likes the sporty look. Maybe, maybe that might work. Hmm. Maybe if I get rid of the bangs, keep the ponytail. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to keep the ponytail. Have some regular hair. Maybe some little hairs that didn't fit in. And then a ponytail. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. So now that we're thinking more on the athletic side of things, I can give her a tank top, but I just gave my rubber ducky girl a tank top. So I'm trying to think. What about, what about a swoop neck shirt? That would look nice. I was thinking a V-neck shirt, but I don't think that that looks really nice with the lemon. Unless I'm thinking of like an actual lemon wedge, but I don't like that. So let's go with a swoop neck shirt. Maybe we can give some little lemon details. Although I did want to try to incorporate this straw into the design. Maybe I can make her sleeves have that straw design on them. Yeah, I think I like that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to color these in. I expected to use the whole page, but I really like that design. Since it's lemon based, I think I'm just gonna have most of the character yellow. So I'm gonna have the hair yellow. We're not having bangs, so I'm gonna try to fix that. And then the earrings themselves will be yellow. The shirt will be yellow, all except for the sleeves, which I think I'm gonna make white and blue alternating. So let's go ahead. I still kind of want to incorporate this lemon hairpin. I haven't really, I haven't forgotten about it. I just don't know exactly where I'd put it. Maybe I can have, maybe I can have her bangs held up by the hairpin. That might look cute. Let me just draw another sketch. Maybe I will use all this space anyway. So we still have the ponytail. But we're going to have this lemon hair pin. And the bangs held up by it. That actually, that looks pretty cute. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Try to make her hair pin back. So just imagine this sketch right here, but with pin back hair. And lastly, I'm going to get a much thinner brush and we're just gonna add some blue. I think I like this light blue over a darker blue. So let's let's try both of them. So we'll have dark blue on this side. And the 
light blue on this side. And we'll just have the same thing. We'll have light blue eye and dark blue eye. So now here's the fun part. Now we get to get a piece of paper and look and see which side we like better. So we have this light blue side. And we have the dark blue side. I think I like the light blue better. It just looks nicer and cleaner. So, I guess I'm going to start sketching the final illustration. I will see you in the speed paint. Salut! Welcome to the speed paint. The only change I made in this painting is the color of blue I used in her sleeves and eyes. When I started painting, I thought that the ultramarine would just look nicer, and I'm glad I went with that decision. It gives her more of a nautical feel. I also mentioned earlier in the video that I have other characters that are based on earrings, so I will link all of those videos in the description box below, along with my red bubble if you'd like to go and check that out. There's just a bunch of my older art on there, so it's kind of neat to see what other stuff I've made. All the products that I use in the video are going to be listed in the description box below if you want to check out what stuff I use to make art. Consider leaving a like or subscribing if you'd like to see the rest of the series as the episodes come out. Leave your vote down in the comments for any earrings that you may have seen that you want me to make as a character. Hope you guys all have a blessed day. Bye!